This is the story of me, a younger me, who felt like less of a man for too long in my life, for reasons that so many other people share. A journey that ended happily for me, but quite the contrary for so many. So, for the young men who too share my struggle with the stereotypes of what it is to be a man, my message to you is that it can and will get better. With so many things in media telling you what you should be, it's time to tell you that you are already everything you should be. Every day, media outlets like television, movies, and advertisers show society what they think a man should be like. And we're taught from a young age that we, as men, must strive to become strong and sexy so that the opposite sex would want us. For those that were not given a strong physique and given a timid nature, this idea can be a living hell. Men, like I had this problem, and coped in many ways. For me, mine was to uh, hide my shame. I wore thick jackets and long jeans just to show as little amount of muscle as possible. And that was just out of the fear of the prying eyes from judging peers. My jacket acted like a turtle shell in which I can hide away from people and feel warm and comfy at the same time. Today, I've learned to completely love myself and who I am, no matter what stereotypes media outlets push on me. It took a lot to get to this point, though. To start, it required me to lose the jacket and to switch into something a little more out of my comfort zone. The only way to free yourself from a fear is to face it. And wearing a, well, nothing but a Speedo in the middle of a high school was terrifying. A Speedo shows everything, everything, including a little more personal fear that almost every man has. And when I did that, I learned that there truly isn't judging of muscle size in the real world. It's only glorified in media. No one ever made a comment or made fun of me about my scrawny physique. It was truly something made up in my own mind. And another different but equally painful insecurity I had was a very timid personality and one that enjoyed being in a turtle shell because it hurt less. I could hardly have conversations outside of my normal close friends and almost feared talking to women. The fear of speaking to women was just another thing influenced by media though. I was taught that I'm less of a man if I don't have the love and admiration of a woman. But to also place their importance so high that I grew to fear them, as if they were some mythical creature that had so much power over me. But I learned to break this fear. Life is about learning from past mistakes and to make the present better for you and everyone. And in order to do this, I had to get myself into awkward situations. I learned from a <laughs> wise person on swim team that the only way to become a more experienced and interesting person is to get yourself in awkward situations. And I've taken that to heart. I also learned that I should always have a smile on my face, no matter how I'm really feeling. Because no matter how crummy your day may be, your day will get so much better eventually. And who knows, maybe you'll forget what you're frowning about to begin with if you've got a smile on your face. If you were to smile at everyone and everything, then eventually you will forget. It also makes a person look friendlier. Sadly, I didn't learn about all this within, until within the last year, when I'd broken all my securities just in the hopes of achieving manliness. Last year, I had large muscles and a girlfriend, and I acted as if having those things made me better, especially better than the people who didn't. The reality is that when these are achieved, you don't magically turn into a better person. 
Muscles in women are not what truly defines a man. It required me to achieve all this just to realize that it was not what it had seemed. It's not what I wanted. My final message to those men who are struggling with their physical and social image is that you don't need the admiration of anyone but yourself. You do not need to become a bad boy to attract women or watch sports to be one of the guys. You need to be you. You can over overcome anything life may place upon you, only if you work hard to get over it. This is a solo journey. Only you may take it, but it is well worth the effort. I promise you.